Welcome back to Watch The Time. Thank you for tuning back in. I'm really pleased about to bring you a watch from Bodery. I featured a Bodery watch a while ago as a sort of skeletonized sports watch. But this one, I didn't purchase it on AliExpress. I purchased it through the Bodery store. It came up on my Instagram and a good friend of mine uh, through the channel, Matty S on Instagram, also sent it over to me to have a look at. It is a field watch that cost $69 at the time I think I bought it. It's titanium, sapphire crystal, automatic. And I was like, really? The loom looks good from the pictures I've seen. $69. I was like, wow. So it, it, this was a pre-sale. They're, they're currently on sale. Uh, the price still looks massively competitive for what you're getting. Uh, but I had to get one in. So is it all that though? Because sometimes you look at these deals and you're thinking, nah, it's too good to be true. Is it? Because if, if it's as good as it looks, this could be the best value field watch or best value watch generally out there right now because this looks sensational. But we shall see together. So thanks for tuning back in. I'll stop going on. And with that being said, let's get the camera turned around and get on with it. Hi guys and girls, so this is the packaging. Uh, looks like a sort of shipping container. I'm not really sure what that symbolised, but a funny story. Uh, me being me, uh, I wasn't actually able to open it straight away. I needed my daughter, who is eight, to open it for me. I dare say she had no problem doing it, but um, obviously I'm not as bright as my daughter. So there we are, but there it is, that's the box. You do just slide it out. God knows how I couldn't wipe it out, but I guess I'm just me. Inside you've got a warranty card, unsigned unfortunately. But then the brakes, instruction manual, um, looks quite in-depth. Again, I don't tend to read them. Then inside you've got some sort of velvety sort of box inside. Plus you've got a cushion uh, to keep it safe in transit. And that's the packaging, guys. Not bad, actually. Uh, it definitely keeps it safe in transit. And then this is the watch. As you can see, it has stopped because I took it off a few days ago in preparation for this review. Um, and yeah, as I said, this is one that I couldn't not buy it came up on my Instagram feed and at the time it was sort of like £55. Um, and with that you're getting an awful lot for, for for the money really. Give me one second guys. Excuse me. Yeah, there's lots of uh, sort of material from the velvety stuff on side. So I just wanted to wipe it off the dial. But there we are. So this is the Bodery Voyager. As you can see, it's a field star watch. Um, and like I said, when I go through the specs now for the price, you'll see why I wanted to pick one up. They also subsequently, after this, released other colours. So actually, I'll bring them up now. You have a look at these other colours that you could sort of purchase. And I think it's a real cracking proposition. I dare say the price is going up slowly. But these do look like a real proposition. Real beta watch, if you like. Um, a lot of value for money to be had. So there, there's the different colour variations. So yeah, Bodoi Voyager. Inside, it's running an automatic Miyota 8215 movement. I'll bring some information up about that movement now. So, <clears throat> there's a bit of a ver variety with these two. So, basically, you can get the hacking and non-hacking. This is the non-hacking variant, unfortunately. Uh, this isn't without its quirks, which we'll go for a bit later in terms of the movement. But this has got 21 joules, 21,600 well, 21, beats per hour. This one is running... I'd say about eight seconds fast a day, roughly. So yeah, definitely parameters in which you could work within. So yeah, not too bad. But um, you'll get what you get with these. You get the rotor that will all be spinning on your wrist a little while after moving it. So do not worry. That's quite normal. And sometimes I've noticed this being no different. The second hand won't be as smooth as you possibly would like. So just bear that in mind. But this is the Miyota 8215 movement running inside. So there you go. The construction of the watch. So aside from the canvas single pass NATO strap, it is all it's titanium, guys. So that's not including, obviously, the crystal or the strap, but they've even put these on here, also signed on there. They look to be the same material. I dare say they're probably stainless steel, though, to be honest. But um, yeah, the watch itself. So that's the bezel, crown, case and case back is all titanium you got that that sort of look about it also and also it does weigh uh, a fair bit less given the fact obviously titanium does wear less so there you go 
The case thickness of the watch is 11.4 millimeters. The case diameter on this one, I'll go from the nine to the three, given that's not where the crown is. It's coming at 40.2 millimeters. And when you go from that sort of position, including the crown, obviously once it's screw screwed up, it's 44.7 millimeters. The lug width on this is 22, which it just surprised me a little bit. It does look a bit wide, but there we are, 22. And the lug to lug tip to tip is 49 point two millimeters so yeah good proportions there guys i think it's uh definitely a good size watch and yeah there you are there's there's the proportions of the watch give me one moment again guys apologies it does seem to be a little bit of a fingerprint magnet so there we are so yeah that's the proportions i'll show you the case back um it's quite an easy one to show off given it's only a single pass nato let me just get it out and at the back of it my unless my eyes are deceiving me that looks like a sort of steering wheel for a ship what you'd probably see on pirates of the caribbean sort of thing uh, i don't know what that's got to do with a field watch but there we are that's what they put on the case back as well as other information pertaining to obviously the watch itself so that's the case back the bezel as you'd have seen a moment ago is a fixed bezel uh, titanium as i said also and the crown is situated down at the four o'clock position it is a screw down crown and also titanium this is really really easy to engage guys uh, really really smooth and good size it's got sort of crown guards where it's integrated into the case but it doesn't impact the ability to screw and unscrew it so there we are and also signed on there with the bodery logo which is nice to see the strap as i've already mentioned is a canvas strap um, you've got a couple of safety sort of catches you obviously you've got the bodery pin buckle clasp and it is signed on the top of there, which I quite like, to be honest. Uh, single pass, sort of NATO style, as I've said. Uh, the pin buckle class I've mentioned. And the crystal covering the dial, which is another sweetener, really, for this watch, given the price, is sapphire crystal. So we do like a bit of sapphire crystal. And I'm watching it does have it on here. And also, I dare say, it does look as though it's got a little bit of AR coating going on. Because it's not sort of going crazy with, that, with the studio lighting either. The water resistance you probably made out on the case back is 100 meters, so that give you 10 atmospheres of water resistance, and the weight will appear in the top right. It's just above 73 grams, which probably is still a little bit of heft, really, given the fact that it's a titanium watch. But you do need to consider the other elements in terms of the probably the stainless steel catches and pin buckle clasp, the movement inside and stuff. But yeah, still still quite a lightweight watch for that. But um, before we go on to the dial, I'll give it one more wipe because my fingers appear to be causing havoc with that but then yeah let's as i say let's go on to the dial guys so nothing's been applied it's all printed on um as you'll see it won't hack because i've already mentioned that put it back in you will see the inconsistency straight away with the, the the second hand that was something that was a bit surprising to me i've not had one quite as bad as this for a while to be honest it does a bit of a hop skip and a jump sometimes does the second hand but as i say the dial itself, uh, nothing's been applied, it's all printed on. You've got numerals or Arabics from 1 to 12 and inside that 24 hours of 13 to 24. Just below the 12 o'clock position, you've got Bodery printed onto the dial just in script writing. Above the 6, you've got Voyager Automatic just highlighting the information of the watch. And either side of the 6, you've got Titanium 100M again just outlining further information. What you have, what you do have, is just a matte black dial, guys. Uh, you've got the contrast of the white, which is nice, and also a couple of accents of red. You've got the tip of the second hand and automatic, both in red. I'll also bring up the loom, guys. The loom on this is very, very good. Something I wasn't quite expecting, given the very modest price of the watch. I was thinking perhaps it would be a little bit more substandard, but no, no, no. They've they've knocked it out of the park with their loom, which is good to see. As you'd have seen earlier, once you sort of that hat, excuse me, one second, I want to put the hands as well. I'll show you the hands. So the hands, they look a bit more industrial, which is probably in keeping with the watch given the finish of the titanium case. Uh, syringe style hands. And as I say, you've got a lollipop on the second hand and the red accents they put on the dial and on the second hand is a quite nice touch to sort of, because it's all the rest of it's just black and white really. Uh, they haven't date matched the date will, but given the fact that this watch is what it is. I think maybe we can we can forgive them that. As I've said before, 8215, non-hacking. Take the, the crown out. It won't stop. You put it back in, obviously nothing changes. So you can hand wind it, 
by screwing it away from you. If you take it out to the first position, you'll be able to scroll through the date and then just put it back in and then screw it back up. As I mentioned earlier, there's been absolutely no issues with the, the nerding on there, no issues with any engagement. I thought that might be the case given that it's titanium, but no, it's, it's done very, very well. But that's the dial, guys. That's the loom. That's the movement. Let me just pop it on the wrist quickly, give you an idea of what it looks like on my wrist. So my wrist is just above a seven inch wrist and that's what it looks like on me. Good size to be honest. I can't, I can't say that I don't think it wears really well on my wrist because it does the lug to lug a bit longer than I would have expected it to be. But there we are. But that's the watch guys. What do you think? Yeah. So excuse me, that would now take me on to my pants and pucker section. If you've ever watched before, you know I always start with pants. I like to go to high with pucker. So what I do think is pants. There are little bits that I can nitpick at. Um, the date window, as I've mentioned and stuff, but I'm not going to. There's only two things I want to mention. and there, One of them is the second-hand sweep. The second-hand sweep on this was disappointing, um, even for a watch so inexpensive. I wasn't expecting it to look... The sweep at times looked worse than a Mecha Quartz sweep. Even a Mecha Quartz looked a bit smoother than this, so that was a bit disappointing. And it hasn't settled down like I would have thought it might have done. Sometimes when you get an automatic or mechanical watch, it takes them a while because of the weather changes and stuff. It takes it a while, but yeah, this isn't quite sort of met up to that expectation. I wasn't expecting a sort of 4, 4K sort of... Um, yeah, but it's it's not great. And the lug width being 22, I think this was made to be a 20 mil. And also then, I'm sure my, for me personally, I've got a lot more 20 mil straps kicking about than 22. But also, it just looks a bit wide on it. The, 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 the width of the watch only 14 mil, 22 mil is a bit wide. So they're the two things I'd mention, guys, is the hand second hand sweep and lug width. What I think is pucker is given the price, I'm going to say sapphire crystal. That I wouldn't be expecting on a, a watch of this price. The loom. The loom on this is phenomenal. Uh, I'd be happy with that loom on my on some of my divers, to be honest. Uh, the clean dial, very clean. No, they're not trying to reinvent the wheel. They've kept it very quintessential for what it is. The build quality, generally, in terms of what you're getting for the price, nicely finished. Everything fits nicely together, so that's good. The signage, although I'm not enamoured with the the sort of what I said at the back. It's nice to see they've done something. It's not a sterile watch, like I said. What you see on the on there in terms of bow, we very nice touch uh, on the crown and stuff. That's nice to see. And the price, as I said, if you're below a hundred pound, generally, I think this is a great, great watch. I had a San Martin a little while ago um, with Mecha Quartz movement, and that only had a uh, mineral crystal, and I really liked it. So this is definitely punching well above its weight for the price see yeah, the price also so just to summarize what i think is pucker as i go with the sapphire crystal loom clean dial build quality signage and price and would i recommend this watch given everything yeah i would i think it's a really nice watch i think sometimes with more affordable automatic watches you do have that issue sometimes with inconsistencies with that sort of stuff so i'm, I'm, I'm sure that won't be for every watch being sent out i was just got the short straw and the lug width may not bother you so otherwise for the for the price this is a cracking watch and one i'd highly recommend but guys and girls please let me know what you think about this watch more importantly and maybe any other watches you may want to see on the channel and as always say don't forget to like subscribe and always watch the time take care guys all the very best